Hello, welcome back to Ben Sushi Left Marine. Um, in this episode, I'm going to give you <coughs> a quick demo of this uh, add OSC add-on and animation nodes, which is actually now currently actually working with my iPhone. I'm using a couple of apps here um, currently running. So um, first of all, I have this um, reflector app. Um, kind of like mirroring my iPhone and it is actually controlling <clears throat> whatever um, whatever objects I have in Blender and at the same time it is actually I have this animation nodes kind of uh, tracking all kind of values so a lot of things but first of all in order to do this uh, you download the latest animation nodes and add OSC add-on. This is the this add-on actually has been updated, so it's actually supporting animation nodes. All you need to do is to run some kind of a script node. Um, it is actually documented on their website. So this is the script uh, script node for animation nodes. You simply create a um, script node like this, and then source this OSC get text and once you do that um, you can quickly actually go and source the this uh, value from the scene OSC keys so some kind of library that's kind of um, monitoring any kind of uh, OSC message coming in and you can pipe it into uh, Blender using animation nodes that's basically what's going on and in this case, if I'm kind of playing it back, um, I can control the light intensity. And I actually, I have this control to control the, the amplitude, the strength of the wiggle noise that animation node is doing. And then also there's this RGB control. So I can make it like blue, for example, or red and blue is purple or magenta. And this, I'm just, you know, just scrubbing. This is almost a, I've done something similar like almost a year ago, but if you are trying to run it today, it's actually a lot faster because animation nodes is now a lot faster. And then you can, you can do this very, very easily. Um, by the way, the, the app I'm using is actually called the uh, Touch OSC. And this app also has been updated so you have a lot of option there and you see um, with the OSC you can do all kind of real-time experiment um, you see whenever I'm doing the toggle you see this message there's like a text uh, some kind of string message coming in through the OSC and I really like this kind of um, real-time um, capability and Perhaps we can use it to generate sound that reacts whenever Suzanne um, kind of um, physically colliding with another object. That's actually possible, I, I believe, if you are using Sonic Pi and manage to create some kind of um, setup where using OSC you can talk um, to all kind of device. Maybe one machine creates the sound and the other machines doing the animations. It's a little bit complicated, but uh, I'll show you one thing that's important. <clears throat> is this address? Whenever if you are anyway, you install the add OSC first, and if you make sure the address is correct, like in this case, it's kind of doing the this talk to this address locally. In my case and I'm listening to input and output um, port that I assign here as long you make sure the, the port number is correct then everything will just work so yeah I found this to be super interesting and once you have it you can just display it full screen for example and you can move this iPhone aside make it full screen make everything full screen and now I'm just controlling it using my iPhone here and it will work 
So that's controlling the light, in light intensity. And yeah, I think this is just a basic demo, but I think you you can do a lot of things here since the so whatever value coming in uh, through the OSC gets into animation nodes and then you can control it. Um, I know uh, there's another experiment that I did last year with the face OSC that's using my face to control um, any kind of sliders here. That's actually a lot easier now if you if you're doing it. So yeah, if you want, ever want to do that, um, I think this is a good time. Um, anyhow, um, that's pretty much it for this demo. Demo. Uh, if you have any questions, suggestions, feedbacks, let me know, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.